Okay, in this video, we're going to go over a really interesting formula to find the area of a triangle. And it was discovered well over 2,000 years ago um, by a gentleman named Hero. And this is called Heron's Formula. And we're going to be able to determine the area of a triangle when you know the lengths of the three sides of the triangle. Now, most of you probably know that you can find the, the traditional one that most people learn is that the area of any triangle is equal to, and let me just write it here real quickly, is equal to one half the base times the height, right? Except that that's not always readily apparent whenever you have a triangle like this. For example, the base could be like right here, but then this length right here would be the height, right? And that's what the H and the B mean. So we don't really know what the height is in this particular case. So how else can we figure out that area? And this is where Hero's formula comes in. Now, the first thing that he discovered was that you need to find what's called the semi-perimeter, okay, which we label as S. And the semi-perimeter is basically just adding up all three of the lengths of the sides and then dividing by two, okay? Once you've done that, then you say that the area is equal to the square root of the S, the semi-perimeter, times the quantity S minus the side A, times S times the side B, uh, minus B rather, and then times S minus side C, all under the radical. And then that should give you the area of the triangle itself. So we're going to actually do this with an example. And here's our example. So let's assume that we have an area of a triangle. What is the area, rather, of a triangle? Where the sides are lengths of 3, 5, and 6. Now, you know how to, from a previous video, you know how to determine whether this is actually a valid triangle. So I'm not going to go over that with you. But... In this case, rest assured that it is, okay? So now we're going to do is see if we can go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle, okay? So here we go. Here's our first, uh, let's just go ahead and do a quick little sketch, okay? And we know that their sides are 3, 5, and 6. So let's go ahead and calculate the semi-perimeter, which is the S. So we're going to say 3 plus 5 plus 6, all divided by 2. That's going to give me 8. 6 is 14. 14 divided by 2 is going to be 7. So that is our S. That is our semi-perimeter. So now let's go ahead and put it into this equation. Okay? We know that the area is going to be equal to the square root of... The semi-perimeter, 7, times the semi-perimeter, 7 minus 3, times the semi-perimeter, minus B, times the semi-perimeter, minus C. Okay? Let's continue. There's my step 1. There's my step 2. Again, area. This is going to give me the square root of... 7 times 4 times 2 times 1, which is pretty helpful. Step 3, the area is going to be equal to the square root. 28 times 2 is 56. 56 times 1 is still 56. So you could say that the area of this triangle is 56. Let's just do a quick calculation. I know that 56 is going to be somewhere between 7 and 8 in terms of perfect squares. So let's just do that. Square root of 56 is equal to approximately 7.48 or 7.5 units squared. Okay, because we said that these are 3, 5, and 6 units in terms of length. Okay, now if I wanted to put this in terms of radical form, I would just go up to one step higher 
And look, since these are already all factored, I'm just going to take the square root of anything that's a perfect square, which in this case is 4. So I'm going to put it outside the radical, and I'm left with 7 times 2. Neither one of those are perfect squares. Or 2 radical 14 units squared. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Again, let's just go over it real quickly. If you know the lengths of the three sides of any triangle, calculate the semi-perimeter, put it through this particular formula, and then make sure you have units squared, which is an area, the units for an area. Okay, hope that was helpful.